Hello everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm the Emperor of the Universe. It's a tough gig, trust me. Woo. My name is Bobby. Welcome, welcome. I just want to talk about the State of the Union address tonight. And if I were Sherlock Holmes, the great detective, I would simply start by saying, why did Putin invade now? Matter of fact, why not last week? The State of the Union is tonight. So, Boon, P Boon, <laughs> Biden, the Boon, that's funny. Biden gets to go up on a big stage in front of everybody and say, hey, rawr, that was pesky Russians, you know. P Putin is a terrible man. We're going to get him her. He's going to try to act all tough and badass. Imagine. If Putin would invade next week instead of last week. Hmm. What would Joe Biden be talking about tonight instead of a union address? High inflation? High gas prices? Horrible unemployment rate? Um, protests against the va vaccine mandates? The truckers that are all going to D.C. as we speak? They're thinking like maybe... 10,000 are going to be there, if not more. That's another thing they want to distract you from. That's happening right now. So the State of the Union address is going to be about Joe Biden acting tough and talking about unity of the world. New world order. To get behind Ukraine, which is basically to get behind the, the European Union, who is backing. You remember how they used to do in the 80s, where the United States would go into a South American co country and, and kill the dictator or whatever, and then they put in their little puppet, you know, president? That's all Zelensky is, is a puppet president. I mean, he's not as bad as the rest of them, but he's still, I mean, he's still a part of the EU. He wants to be in the EU, which means he's, yeah, he's the bad guy. Hate to say it. So basically, you got a bunch of Nazis running around Ukraine, which is another fucked up thing. But that's a separate issue. That's a there's a that's basically the 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 premier party in Ukraine. But they don't talk about that. So basically, you're gonna get a bunch of shit tonight. You're gonna get it's just gonna it's I don't know who's gonna watch it. I'm not watching that shit. I just I just. I just got the commentary afterwards. I'll listen to that shit because I'm not going to... I don't respect that corrupt piece of shit. I think he should be in jail, not standing on the podium talking to the American people. So, I just want you to know that, like I said, you have to be a detective and look at the timing of everything. I don't believe in coincidences. Putin did this for a reason because everything is going to shit. The Canadian truckers were really gaining a lot of worldwide, uh, you know... They started it worldwide. People were protesting the mandates, and all of a sudden now the mandates are over. Ooh, what? COVID's gone? No more mask mandate? COVID's gone? They're not pushing the vaccines no more? What? COVID's gone? Yeah, bullshit. Like I said, it's all part of their fucking new world order. Bunch of assholes. So, yeah. This will be my last video about that because I just needed to get some stuff out. This is what I've been told to do, and I do it. And then I'm going to move on to back... Go. I'm going back to... Self-healing, which is, you'd be surprised. As the collective, this is where it gets interesting and very spiritual in my job as, as far as my, as being an operative for the Alliance. My job is to tap into the collective and, and charge it positively. That's the best way to describe it. So that's what I got to do. So I'm going to work on loving myself and I'm going to work on you loving yourself and not being fooled by the bullshit. You have to be your own detective. Like I said, don't listen to me. Don't believe me. I can throw out words and phrases that you can go look up and check out yourself and do your own research. But I'm just telling you, don't fall for the bullshit. A lot of people have. It's really sad. So um, anyway, that's it. Um, I hope you're having fun. I hope you have a wonderful night. And I hope you don't have to watch that garbage fucking new world order bullshit fucking parade that's going to go on tonight on television so anyway i love you god loves you and the universe is really digging you so we're going to keep rocking it we're going to do our part and keep shining in love and light and that's how you win people with love not hate in the story that's when you drop the mic and walk off the stage <laughs> anyways i love you have a wonderful day goodbye